Well, this has got to be the easiest method I know of to create crown molding in SketchUp. So if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. Be sure and click the subscribe button down below and click the bell. That way you're notified every time I upload new content. Don't forget, I have all the social media out there that you can follow as well. So let's get started on this. Okay, let's just say that you have a room full of walls that you need to have some crown molding put in. Now keep in mind, this is just as a point of reference for you. This may not be exactly what you make, but it's easy to show your client what the room can look like if you have this installed. So like I said, the crown may not be exact, and you don't want to spend a whole lot of time making it. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy method to not only import it, but also to follow it around the room using the follow me tool. So I'm going to give you a moment just to construct a random set of walls, much like what I have here or just about anything your imagination can mock up. Make them about eight feet tall and four inches thick using your rectangle tool and then uh, push and pull them around the room or around the area, just making you a random room that has one opening. So don't connect them into um, a closed up room. Leave one open so you can work easily. So go ahead and make that. And if you have something similar to this, I want you to go ahead and save it as a component or make it a group. You can make it a group just by right clicking and say make group, uh, which mine has already been made into a group, or you can make it into a component, which I haven't done, so mine is visible here. Um, so either, either way, just as long as it highlights all like this whenever you go to click on it, that way it doesn't conform to anything else that we throw into the model. So now, over here at this corner, I'm going to zoom in so I can see just that, and we're going to use the 3D warehouse, and that is an area where people have uploaded a whole bunch of things that they have comprised into SketchUp and made it available for the public. So if you hover over the box with a bunch of squares popping out of it, that is the 3D warehouse. And like I said, there are a whole bunch of things that people have constructed, beds, uh, living room assortments, an entire living room with cabinetry, everything. Anything that you can think of, you'll probably find in this warehouse. So if you wanted to import tools or furniture into your space, you can do that. So if you click in the search bar up here and then just type in crown molding, you'll see that there's a bunch of moldings that people have already made and uploaded into this particular warehouse. So we're just going to select something that's fairly simple, which is this one right here. So if you can find something similar, go ahead and click on it and it will bring up the active window for that particular model and just click download. And it will ask us, do you want to load it into the model? And you just say, okay. It'll give you that progress bar and if you move your mouse around, you'll see that it has imported it into our model. So we're going to drop it in place at the corner and I need to move it out even with the wall, just like it would be in your home. Okay. So just make sure that this corner was referenced to this corner and then slide it out on your green axis to where it's uh, even with the wall. Now the thing is, is that I don't want to use this entire model. I only want the profile. So what I'm going to do is explode this component because as you can see, it is saved as one. So I'm going to right click on that and explode it. And what that does is it takes the component factor away. So now I can pick and choose any part of this model that I want. And what I'm going to do is pick this profile and I'm going to highlight it blue just by double clicking on it. I'm going to turn my move function on and reference a corner and hold my option key down or control key if you're on windows. And I'm going to copy that particular profile. and I'm just going to move it out of the way. That's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to get rid of this crown model now. I'm going to highlight it all blue and hit delete. Now I'm going to bring this model profile that I just copied and I'm going to bring it back into play. Just like that. And I'm going to make it a component. So I'm going to click G and I'm going to call it crown. So there we go. I now have a crown component. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. 
All right, now like I said, our walls are a component or a group, so they are completely separate from the crown itself. But what we need to establish is a line of reference that we want the crown to follow, because it's going to have to go around the entire room. Now, since our walls and our crown are separated, we need to go into our crown component so we can make that line reference. So I'm going to go into my crown, and I'm going to back out and turn my line function on, because what I want to do is see the entire room. And I'm going to get as close as I can without exceeding my borders. Now with my line function on, I'm going to reference the corner of the room and I'm just going to make a series of lines. I'm going to go all the interior corners. So if you do this on your set of walls, just draw a line on each interior corner until you come to the very end of your room. Now I'm going to go back over to my crown. And what I want to do is highlight all the lines that I just made. So if you triple click on your lines, you'll see that they all highlighted blue. Because we're inside the crown component, which means we're just adding these lines to the crown molding. And using my move tool, I'm going to move those lines down to the bottom of my crown. Okay? So now what that has done is giving me a line of reference that follows the entire room. And since we moved it down to the bottom of the crown, that is the line of reference where the crown bottom will be all the way around the room. Now we're going to use the follow me tool. While all of these lines are still highlighted, we're going to go back over to our crown to where we can see it good. And I'm going to come over here to the top of the toolbar and use the follow me function. So we're going to hit follow me, hover over our crown. Now you'll notice that the lines are not highlighted blue anymore. That's fine. As long as you had them highlighted before you turn your follow me function on, it will understand. So hover over your crown and click it. And what it has done is follow those line references that we had highlighted blue all the way around the room. It has done the interior corners as well as the exterior corners. So now all the room has been covered in crown. That is a super fast method to make sure that you can add crown to any room. Pretty cool. So let's undo this and I'm going to bring in one other detail, some kitchen cabinetry. Now I'd already uh, mocked this up previously, so don't worry about doing this yourself, but the same thing applies. We're going to go back into our crown component, and I'm going to zoom out to where I can see the entire profile of the room, just like that. Turn my line function on, start at the corner, and I'm going to make my series of lines from corner to corner to corner. And you'll notice the component is expanding every time I do it. And I'm just going to follow around these cabinets. All right, so I've made lines all the way around. I'm going to zoom back in to the crown. And I'm going to highlight my lines by hovering over the line edge, triple clicking it, turn my move function on, and I'm going to move them down to the bottom of the crown. Turn my follow me function on. Notice the blue went away, and then I'm going to click the crown. Now, my entire room with cabinetry has been formed with crown. So that is a super fast method to use the follow me tool to make crown. The same applies for base trim and quarter round if you wanted to encase your cabinets with molding. Well, I hope that shed some light on how to create molding in a model that you can submit to your client. That way it will show them almost exactly what it's going to look like before you even start building it. So guys, thanks for joining me again, and I will see you on the next SketchUp tutorial. Boom!